Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Physics of Under. In previous video, I discussed about what is contravariant and covariant vector. If you miss that video, you can get the link from the i button at the top. Today, I am here with the inner product between them and the invariance property of the inner product. This is very interesting video. Hope you will enjoy the video. Please watch this video till the end. If you like this video, please share with others. And if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for future notifications. Let's start the video. First, we have to see the definition of inner product or scalar product. What is that? The quantity APBP is called the scalar product or inner product of two vectors AP and BP. This is the mathematical definition where AP represent contravariant vector and BP represent covariant vector. Now we have to show that inner product of a contravariant and covariant vector is an invariant quantity. That means the form of inner product remains unchanged in unbarred as well as barred coordinate system. Let's see the solution. We consider AP and BP as contravariant and covariant vector respectively. So, inner product of them is AP BP as we discussed earlier. If this quantity is to be invariant, then the form remain unchanged in barred as well as unbarred coordinates. That means, we have to show this line. What is that? A bar mu, B bar mu is equal to A P B P. The left hand side is the inner product in the barred coordinate system and the right hand side is the inner product in the unbarred coordinate system. Clearly, the form remain unchanged. If we can show this equation, then we can say that inner product is an invariant quantity. For that, let us start with the transformation equation for a contravariant vector. What is that? A bar mu is equal to del x bar mu del x p a p. And similarly, the transformation equation for a covariant vector is b bar mu is equal to del x q del x bar mu b q. Clearly, a bar mu is contravariant vector in barred coordinate system and b bar mu is a covariant vector in barred coordinate system and a p is contravariant vector in unbarred coordinate system b q covariant vector in uh, unbarred coordinate system. Now, if we multiply these two equations, then what we get from the multiplication of left hand side gives this that means a bar mu b bar mu and the multiplication of right hand side gives del x bar mu del x p del x q del x bar mu a p b q like this. Now, what this section stands for? That means, del x bar mu del x p del x q del x bar mu. What this resembles? This is nothing but Kronecker delta represented as delta q p and a p b q is multiplied with that Kronecker delta. Now, if q is equal to 1, then Kronecker delta gives the result 1. In other values of q, Kronecker delta becomes 0. So, finally, we get a bar mu b bar mu is equal to a p b p, where q is equal to p and Kronecker delta becomes 1. In all other cases, Kronecker delta becomes 0. So, the required equation is proved. That means, clearly it shows the form of inner product between a contravariant vector A and a covariant vector B remain unchanged in barred as well as unbarred coordinate system. That means, inner product of them is an invariant quantity. Now, we have to see what is the length of a vector a p or a p whatever the uh, form contravariant or covariant. The length 
is given by this equation L is equal to root over of A P A P. The term within the square root gives the inner product of the vector A between its contravariant and covariant form. And if we take the square root of the result, then we get the length of the vector A. Now, what is the angle between two vectors A P and B P? A P is the uh, contravariant vector and B P is a covariant vector. Then here is the equation. So, we get the cosine of the angle cos theta is equal to A P B P divided by root over of A P A P multiplied by B P B P. The numerator and the numerator represents the inner product between A P and B P and the denominator. Uh, the first term in the denominator within the parenthesis represent the mod value or length of the first vector A P and the second term within the uh, square root within the parenthesis represent the mod value of the vector B P. So, this represent the cosine of the angle between two vectors A P and B P. Now, we have to see the length of a covariant or contravariant vector is a invariant quantity. Let us <coughs> start the solution. We consider the length of a vector A P like this as we see earlier. To show the length is a invariant quantity, we have to show the form of the term within the square root remains unchanged in barred as well as unbarred coordinates. That means, we have to show A P A P which is the term within the square root is a invariant that is A bar mu uh, into A bar mu is equal to A P A P. The left hand side is the uh, term uh, represented in the barred coordinate system and the right hand side represent the same term in the unbarred coordinate system. To show that first we consider the transformation equation for a contravariant vector like A bar mu is equal to del x bar mu del x p A p and similarly the transformation equation of the covariant vector is A bar mu is equal to del x q del x bar mu A q. If we multiply these two equation then multiplication of left hand sides gives A bar mu A bar mu like this and the multiplication of the right hand side gives del x bar mu del x p del x bar del x q del x bar mu A p A q like this. Now, what this section stands for del x bar mu del x p del x q del x bar mu. This, uh, this is nothing but a Kronecker delta denoted as delta q p a p a q. Now, if q is equal to p then only Kronecker delta becomes 1 all other values of q gives the Kronecker delta 0. So, finally, we get a bar mu a bar mu is equal to a p a p this is the desired equation. So, from this equation it is clear the term within the square root a p b p is invariant because the form of this term remains unchanged in unbarred as well as unbarred coordinates. So, the length of the contravariant or covariant vector is an invariant quantity. Now, we have to show the cosine of angle between a contravariant and a covariant vector is also invariant. For that, first we consider the equation. What is that? Cos theta is equal to A P B P divided by root over of A P A P multiplied by B P B P. Now, a p a p the first term in the denominator within parenthesis is invariant quantity. We just see this in the previous slide. Similarly, we can show that b p b p that means the another term in the denominator within parenthesis is also invariant. So, the denominator as a whole becomes invariant. Now, what about the numerator? In the numerator, 
we see AP BP. What is that? Inner product between a contravariant vector AP and a covariant vector BP, which already proved to be invariant at the beginning of this video. So, AP BP is also invariant quantity. That means each term in right hand side individually invariant. So, the right hand side is as a whole become invariant. Then by the property of a equation, we can say that the left hand side also a invariant quantity. That means cos theta is a invariant quantity. So, we can say the cosine of angle between a contravariant and a covariant vector theta is the angle between these two vector and cos theta is the cosine of that angle. So, clearly it is seen that the cosine of an angle between a contravariant and covariant vector is a invariant quantity. Hope you enjoy the video. If you have some queries or some suggestion about this video, then please write in the comment section below. Your comment helps me to improve my future videos. Thanks for watching this video.